everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how i did these lights for only 15 dollars so the leds we're going to use are rgb leds they come on a strip these ones have a remote control for adjusting the colors of them different flashing modes things like that you get 60 in this box and i paid about 10 pounds for these or about 15 dollars all right so first of all in the box we've got the uh, remote control you can see all the different colors here and you can also mix these and different flashing modes and uh, how bright you want the leds and you can turn them on and off so we're going to use this in the felony and then the leds they come on like a old style film reel so you can see they're all joined together like this and they're powered by the USB. And what we'll do is we'll cut the USB cable off and use the positive negative terminals out of that and wire that up to a servo lead and use the Beck output out of the receiver. Then we can adjust the lights by keeping this part. This picks up the remote control and changes all the different colors. And then we can also use the rest of the LEDs individually just by wiring them up differently to different terminals on here you can choose different colors as long as you keep the ground you can wire any of these other three to different colors first job i'm going to be doing is cutting off the usb lead i'm going to keep it about i don't know this long for now and then cut that off strip the wires So then there should only be two wires inside, positive and negative, and we're going to connect that to this JST connector. So we strip the wires back on this cable. It's uh, blue is live, white is negative. So we're going to connect them up like that, solder and some heat shrink. So we soldered and heat shrink them together like that. I'm going to put one more piece over the top just to hide all this. Those two there will just stop the wires touching. Okay, so we're all finished here put some heat shrink over the top just to tidy it up a little bit i didn't have any black so well, that'll have to do we've got some power going into this receiver and now we'll get the remote and there we go we're turning it on we've got all different colors and that's just running off the beck power of the receiver So we can extend this cable for as long as we want just by using these servo extension leads but i'm going to be using some aluminum foil and that is going to be so i can take the body on and off the car by making the body posts the connections right the next job is cut four pieces of aluminum foil about two inches by one inch then if you've got some old broken servos or anything like that, you can buy servo extension leads on eBay or Amazon. They're, they're really cheap. And then we're going to solder the cable onto the aluminum foil. One for each wire. And then this will be plugged into the receiver output. And then we can wrap this around the tops of our body posts. Right, so we're soldering the uh, wires onto the tin foil, a bit like that, plenty of flux just to get it to stick. And then what I usually do is just put a little bit of electrical tape over the top of there as well. So we've done those two. We just wrapped them around the body post pads here, and we're gonna do two more to go onto the bottom of the body shell. Now we've gone from the receiver to the first LED and this one is wired up so it's white so to get that we've got five volts and I've wired together the R and the G together and then to carry that on you just do the same on the opposite side and then you can put wires to the other side of where the headlight's going to go and wire it up exactly the same so what I'll do next is put a bit of heat shrink over that just to cover the terminals. So I've started gluing the LEDs in and I've left this one off to show you that I've scraped the paint back with a knife to the clear Lexan. So the LED should shine through 
the sticker at the front. Right, so we just glue the last one in. D for plenty. Like that. Line him up with the sticker. That for a second. And there we go. It's all finished now. The tin foil's been stuck in. I just used some electrical tape. Stuck it down. Cut that out with a scalpel. Hot glued the LEDs in. It's ready to go. Cleaned out some holes here. And just put some regular LEDs in there. And they're still wired into the back output of the receiver. I'm going to put the body down. On they come. Right, so I've wired these up now. So these are permanently on red. These will be the tail lights. And then these will still be adjustable with the controller. So just got to cover these all up then in electrical tape, black electrical tape, so you won't be able to see them. And then I've just got the other side to do, and I'll do that exactly the same. So I've also added a remote aux switch plug straight into the receiver I think I've got it in channel 3 and it means I can turn the lights on and off on my transmitter I'll leave a link in the description below where I also got this from this is all installed now it's hot glued in these could be put in any style that you like you put four in either side I've just gone for two I'm going to turn them on now using the MTA So now they're automatically going to a flashing mode, the adjustable one. So I'm going to change them with a the remote control. I'm going to go for blue. And that's it. You can put them to any color that you like. And I have them at different flashing rates, strobe modes, things like that, different brightnesses. But I'm going to stick with blue. Any questions of what I've done, guys? Just leave a message in the comments below. And I hope this is helpful to you. And thanks for watching.